Hi. In this uh, video with some animation, I'll take you through a solved problem on the block and spring system. This is a common kind of uh, numerical encounter. So as you can read the problem on the screen, we have certain data about the mass, the spring constant, and the velocity of the block as it passes the mean position. And the block is performing simple harmonic motion. We are supposed to find out the maximum displacement of the block. First, let's picturize the problem. Here in this image, you can see a wall. The spring is anchored to it, and the other end of the spring is connected to a block. And the beautiful spring and block system is at rest, and the spring is occupying its natural length, and the block is in its mean position. Now we pull the block towards the right. The moment we pull the block, we have supplied energy to the block and spring system. We have done work on the spring. Therefore, the work done by us is the elastic potential energy of the spring. Now, we release the block. The moment we release it, this elastic potential energy has to go somewhere and it gets fully converted into the kinetic energy of the block and the block starts oscillating to and fro. The dotted lines show the movement of the block. The central dotted line is the mean position of the block, the design the image, and the right and left dotted lines show the extreme positions of the center of the block. This animation makes it clear as to what is the oscillation of the block looking like. It's a lovely uh, animation that gives us a picture of the positions. Now, by giving energy to the spring, we have done work and we have done work on the spring to the extent that we applied a force F and caused a displacement dx in the direction of the force. And we have to integrate this F dx from the lower limit zero to the upper limit x. The lower limit zero denotes the state of the spring and block at rest, which is taken as zero potential energy of the spring. The upper limit of the integration x shows the extent to which we pull the block along that plane. That's the maximum extent to which we pull the block and, of course, the spring. So when we integrate that, we get W is half kx squared, and that's the potential energy of the spring. We equate that to the kinetic energy of the block, which is half mv squared, where m is the mass of the block and v is the velocity of the block as it passes the central position. When we do that equation, you get x equal to v root m by k. We go to the next step, and in this slide, we understand that the increase in potential energy of the spring is with respect to its mean position or natural length, the state of rest, when there was no potential energy in the spring. By pulling the block and spring, we gave it an increase in potential energy. The potential energy of the spring is maximum when it's extended to the maximum position, whereas the kinetic energy of the block is maximum when it's speeding past the central position. At that point, its velocity is maximum. So let's plug in the values for x equal to v root m by k, and you get the answer as x is equal to 0 0.1 meters. In summary, uh, we look at this animation once again, and uh, we can visualize the spring and the block as a system. I hope uh, this image will remain in your mind, and you can solve many more problems on this topic. Thanks, and have a great day.